Elon Musk has finally provided a solid timeline for when we can expect to see the majestic Starship rocket take to the skies again after an eventful first integrated flight test which saw the rocket lift off from Boca Chica, Texas. Let's discuss how the next generation of Starships will take place, including the latest upgrades and all the upgrades being made to the Starbase to accommodate these goals. As most of you know by now, a fully stacked Starship, the biggest and most powerful rocket ever built, launched for the first time ever on April 20th. The goal of the test flight was to gather as much data, clear the pad without blowing the whole thing up, and get ready to go again. Since then, fans of SpaceX have been eager to know when the next launch of Starship will take place. Very recently, on June 13th, Elon Musk provided some information on Twitter, where he stated that they are aiming for another liftoff about six to eight weeks. However, it's important to note that this timeline may be challenging due to the extensive preparation required for the second flight. It's worth mentioning that Musk had previously mentioned a similar time frame of six to eight weeks for the next test flight during a discussion on Twitter spaces on April 29th. However, at that time, he was referring to the projected readiness of Starbase and Starship rather than predicting the exact date of the flight. But can SpaceX upgrade the Starbase in time for this launch window? In regards to the upgrades happening at the launch pad, these images by RGV Aerial Photography show the current progress. Musk mentioned that SpaceX has been working on a solution by developing and testing a water-cooled steel plate to be placed beneath the launch pad, preventing a recurrence of the problems occurring during the previous liftoff. SpaceX's headquarters, Starbase, has been very busy since the first Starship launch on April 20th. Construction work to repair the damage and strengthen the launch equipment is progressing at a remarkable speed. However, the focus has been mostly on the destroyed launch pad, overshadowing the current work to advance the design of the Starship. Observers have been closely watching the background progress, including new images of Starship hardware, along with comments from Elon Musk about the future of the platform. On May 13th, Elon Musk mentioned that a third version of the SpaceX Raptor engine had been test-fired for the first time. The new engine, Raptor V3, demonstrated significant improvements over the previous Raptor V2 engine. The question arises, why does the most powerful rocket ever designed need even stronger engines? The answer is simple. SpaceX plans to launch much heavier payloads into orbit than the current configuration allows. On May 24th, Elon Musk practically confirmed this by mentioning that Starship's payload capacity is between 250 and 300 tons when launched expendable. This means sacrificing the landing fuel for the Super Heavy booster to achieve higher velocities. This payload capacity is significantly higher than the current rating of 150 tons when fully reusable. Elon Musk also mentioned that the improved thrust from the new Raptor V3 engine would allow for a liftoff mass of approximately 6,000 tons, which is 1,000 tons more than the current configuration. Therefore, the new engine will enable the Starship to double its payload capacity. To accommodate the increased payload capacity, the Starship will need to be larger. This will require taller stacks and bigger fuel tanks to hold the extra fuel. SpaceX's interest in hauling heavier objects into space suggests they might transport larger station parts, bigger scientific equipment, and specialized Starship variants like fuel-filled versions for use as floating gas stations, or extended-duration habitation modules for deep space exploration. One significant application for this upgrade could be to transport additional fuel for the lunar lander Artemis III, which will be used in NASA's mission to return humans to the moon. Since NASA's Lunar Gateway Station may not be ready by then, SpaceX will need to carry enough fuel to reach the moon, land the astronauts, and return to orbit for the crew to board the Orion capsule. The extra fuel storage made possible with the new Raptor V3 engine would provide some flexibility for this mission. Speaking of the Starship lander, Artemis III is scheduled to land in 2025. This means SpaceX has only two years to make the Starship operational and develop a variant with a crew cabin and an elevator. While it's premature to speculate on the exact purpose of these non-standard hardware pieces, the timing suggests that SpaceX is working towards meeting the NASA schedule for the Artemis III mission. If they plan to have a lander ready by 2025, we should expect to see prototype parts coming together for testing soon. The introduction of the new engine and glimpses of non-standard hardware indicate significant changes are happening in the Starship's design. It's remarkable that the SpaceX team built the strongest rocket ever made and then realized it needed to be even stronger. We are excited to see what they will be able to launch with the extra power provided by these new engines. Elon Musk has revealed that SpaceX is making significant modifications to its Starship vehicle's separation strategy in order to boost payload performance ahead of the upcoming test flight. Musk explained that SpaceX has opted for a hot staging approach. 
This method, used for years in Russian launch vehicles, will see the ignition of Starship's upper stage engines while they remain attached to the super heavy booster. The change, Musk claims, could result in a conservative increase of 10% in payload to orbit performance. The strategy involves igniting the Starship's engines, while most of the 33 Raptor engines on the Super Heavy booster are off, although a few will remain operational. This technique prevents a drop in thrust, commonly observed during conventional stage separation where the lower stage shuts off first. However, this will necessitate some alterations to the Super Heavy booster. An extension, essentially a vented structure, will be added to the booster's top to let the upper stage exhaust escape while it's still attached. A shield will also be installed atop the booster to safeguard it from the exhaust. The most risky aspect for the upcoming flight would be this new stage separation method, Musk said. In addition to the separation stage modifications, SpaceX has made a tremendous number of further updates to the vehicle, surpassing well over 1,000 changes ahead of the next launch, according to Musk. While he didn't delve into specifics, he highlighted ongoing work to revamp the launch pad to prevent damage like that observed after the maiden Starship launch on April 20th. SpaceX has also upgraded the Raptor engines, with the previous launch vehicle utilizing an assortment of engines assembled over time. The revised Raptors will feature adjustments to the hot gas manifold to curtail fuel leakage. With these amendments, Musk feels more optimistic about the success of the subsequent launch, estimating a 60% probability of reaching orbit, a hike from the better than 50% chance he forecast in a late April discussion before the first flight attempt. The previous launch on April 20th had a mission to propel Starship's upper stage on a partial orbit around Earth, concluding with a splashdown near Hawaii in the Pacific. Musk indicates the next launch attempt will share similar objectives. Musk has said that the next Starship vehicle, made up of prototypes known as Booster 9 and Ship 25, along with the pad, are on track to be launch ready in about six weeks. Elon's latest update on June 27th included key milestone completed for Flight 2, showing video of six-engine static fire test of Ship 25. However, it's important to note that SpaceX doesn't have total control over the schedule. As a case in point, Several environmental groups are currently filing a lawsuit against the U.S. Federal Aviation Administration. They argue that the agency has not adequately evaluated the potential environmental and community damage Starship launches could inflict on South Texas. A recent aerial photo shows that the footings for the Star Factory are already in place. These indicate progress, but the final structure will be even larger. Some of the older buildings will eventually be demolished. The tents will also be taken down once the Star Factory is operational, although they may be kept temporarily to handle the initial production load. SpaceX is taking advantage of the construction equipment and personnel on site for landing pad repairs to begin building the Star Factory's foundation and steel structure. Phase one of the construction should go smoothly, but the rest of the building will have to wait until the older structures are cleared. While the Starship hasn't launched satellites yet, companies are already interested in using its lifting capabilities. VAST, a company partnering with SpaceX, plans to create the first commercial space station using the Falcon 9 and later the Starship. The Sanchez site, SpaceX's propellant production location, is buzzing with activity. A new foundation, identical in size to the ground fabrication building currently being dismantled, is being prepped, indicating a possible relocation of this building. The Sanchez site also houses large water-cooled steel plates for the next orbital launch mount and the prefabricated Mega Bay. Four Mega Bay sections are in varying stages of completion and two out of three steel plates are near completion. Further north, at the Rocket Garden, a new foundation, distinct from standard vehicle display spots, is being built next to Booster 10. The purpose is uncertain, but could potentially be an engine installation stand or something else. At the production site, an unusual development has occurred with the removal of Ship 28's payload bay door, deviating from the sealing process seen with Ships 24 and 25. The reason behind this and potential plans for replacement or modification are still unclear. It's still early to speculate how effective the Starship will be on actual missions. For now, all we can do is hope that Elon Musk and SpaceX can have the rocket ready for a second test flight in the next few months. Until then, what do you think? Can the Starship make it to orbit with these new upgrades? Be sure to let us know in the comments below.